What's going on there gamers, here we are back with some more of the Ascent and today I'm going to be going over how you can easily get your hands on the Energy Mesh Shield. So if you need this augmentation and have no idea how to get, then stay tuned. That's coming up next. Welcome back all you guys and girls as always, Full Things Gaming, Full Things Xbox. Then why not hit that subscribe and bell icon. I'll bring you all the latest and greatest in hints, tips, guides and builds and just some fun gameplay reviews of upcoming games. But for today, if you're here to find this augmentation right here, the Energy Mist Shield, this one just over here, a nice augmentation with a low cooldown and a really low consumption. It's probably a bit of a mid-range to longer range augmentation because it means what you're going to be doing is trying to make sure you're not getting hit by the bullets because the Energy Mist Shield is going to be taking that damage for you. So what I'm going to do is chuck on a little bit of footage of what the mod is roughly about, but remember this wasn't too specced into it, so it did kind of not last as long as it should do. But I'll show you this and then afterwards I'll go over the full guide. Right, so as you could see, very much a mid to longer range one. You're going to make sure that you're standing further back and that bullets are hitting that and until it pops, you're not taking anywhere near as much damage or none whatsoever. However, with melee attackers, it does absolutely nothing and it is only in a kind of forward facing arc of about 90 degrees. So honestly, it's a little bit situational, but it can work really well if you're a very gun based build. But where exactly do you get it from? So the level you want to be on is Arcology the Warrants and grab yourself a taxi and you're going to want to go to Black Lake Towers. Once you spawn in, the easiest thing that you can do, head all the way down to this staircase. Make your way round because you want to get to the lower part. You're going to walk this route just here and eventually you're going to make your way to this door just here. This right here is pretty much the layer of Chunk, a named baddie who, once defeated, will be dropping this for you. I would honestly say your best bet make sure you have something on with Flame. There's a lot of fleshy enemies here and he himself actually has a really big shield, so if you're a little bit lower level or if you're not geared out right, he may be a little bit tougher. If you've got a flamethrower, then he will definitely disintegrate. If you don't know where to get one, I will chuck a link up the top right on how you can get yourself the Magma Maker. But as you can see, once you've taken that chunk, he is going to net you this reward right here and he's going to drop this augmentation. Now the augmentation is very based around frame, it's going to have a lot more durability the more you're specced into it. So if you're not specced into it at all, this will be very lacklustre. If you're going down that frame route, it may be a really nice mod to have if you're doing that mid to longer range build. But as always guys and girls, I hope this has helped a little bit. For all things gaming, for all things Xbox, take care, I'll see you on the next day.